Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to do a request tutorial, but one I'm very excited about, and you might have noticed I've had a haircut, especially for the occasion. Um, I went to the hairdresser and presented them with a picture of Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates, and got this do. Now it's not quite right, so I'm going to start with just combing the side parting out a bit, and fastening it away from the face with a bobby turn like this. And now I think I'm ready to start. I also like to apologise for the sound in the background, that's my washing machine. I need to get all the blood out my sheets and um, dress. So that's going to be running throughout the tutorial. I hope it's okay and it's more mesmeric than annoying. So, um, Norman Bates is everyone's favourite um, serial killer. I know he's definitely a personal favourite of mine. And I often like to look like him or to pretend I'm with him. So. Um, we're going to start. Now, um, he's up quite a lot of the night, peeping through holes, running around, talking to his mother. So we're going to start with like a, a sunken under eye to give a sort of tired, but I find very sexual look. And we're also going to try and get the white on the lower lash to bring out the eye a bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that in. There we go, we're going to blend it in around the face, that, do the same on this side, it's got a bit on the top, can't be really So there we get this sort of sunken eye, and that's uh, integral to Norman's sort of tired look because he's, um, he's a busy man. He runs a motel single-handedly as, as well as having to dispose of the unwanted people. Now the next thing we're going to do is the lips. I'm using uh, the Benefit Lemonade again, which isn't meant for lips, but I think it works wonderfully because it gives this sort of fleshy tone. You could use Mist by MAC, which I find works very well and it's good for the Norman Bates look. Or also um, Snob from the Cindy Sherman range from MAC, also is very good. What we want is a sort of pit, pursed, pensive, worried mouth. Although he's a very sexual being, he's also a very stressed person. So, and we know he's partial to a glass of milk. So, also helps with the sort of milk moustache look. So that's perfect for the lips. And what we're going to do to accentuate that, but also to draw attention to the lips, because he's got a very hypnotic personality is we're going to use a silver um, eye pencil here, I'm using a Giordana and I'm going to go around the lip I hope you can see this in this light and again, go for quite a larger lip line there again and I'm going to go around yeah, I hope that looks I'm actually going to go bigger you know, as you can see, when Marion Crane first arrives at Bates Motel, she's clearly mesmerised by his eyes, mouth, general persona. I'm just going to fill that in with a bit more lemonade. There we go. Brilliant. Now, um, to accentuate that yet again, yes, I'm using three lip lines, is I'm going to do a tiny bit of red just around the edge. Yeah. I mean, we know there's going to be blood involved, but it's not really... He does keep clean. I think he might be slightly OCD on the autistic spectrum, which is a great look, and it's hard to translate into makeup. There we go. I'm just going to blend that all in again with a bit of lemonade. Perfect. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is... Um, oh, my bobby pin is to um, accentuate the eyebrows. He's got very um, expressive brows and so we're going to do that. Um, I'm using uh, the Snazzery black paint and a paintbrush here. I'm going to start here and paint up and then down and I'm going to fill that in. And again, bring the eyebrow quite down to give sort of, it helps give this sort of puppy dog look which is integral to the Norman Bates. Now the next eyebrow, I'm going to go not quite as high, I'm going to go down, here we go, 
point. So it looks, um, again, this slight this sort of pained expression. And to help that, of course, we're going to slightly join the brows in the middle, but not quite. And then, this is quite a hard little trick, I'm going to go down along as if it's a crease line. Can you see if you frown the crease? We're going to bring that down. Just give a bit of shadow to the nose. Um, but also to um, give this more quizzical, uh, well, concerned look. You know, yes, Marion had it coming, but it, you know, disposing of the body, Arbogast turning up, it all gets a bit stressful. I do think we need more white under the eye. You can never have too much. Again, this is my favourite Stargazer product, which I'm running out of, so if there's any fans out there with some who want to help me send it away. Sorry, the washing machine is going going at it, but you know how it is with a lot of blood. Next thing I'm going to do is use the glitter product, which I like, and do it again. Now again, this is the sort of top tip I use for sort of teary look, because, you know, he is a guy with a lot of trouble. I'm going to bring that right up. And, you know, he's not afraid to get in touch with his feminine side and shed a tear or two. You know, and it's uh, great for fooling people and thinking, you know, he's not not the um, murdering kind. So can you see that's got like a nice shimmer effect under the eye. And so the last thing we want to do is to use the white again to bring a really sharp sunken jaw in. So I'm going to trace just from the um, sideburn here. Wait, it's not enough of that. So um, I'm going to trace a right angle into the cheek, just under the apple. There we go. I'm going to do the same on the other side because he's got a very attractive um, symmetrical face like Gillian Anderson so we're just going to blend that slightly just under the cheek and up to the brow not too close to the lip blend outwards towards the ear There we go. So this is my um, Norman Bates and Psycho look. I'm sorry there was so much noise with the um, washing machine, but Bates Motel is a clean place. I change the sheets every week. Um, that's how Mother likes it. And um, to quote Norman, um, I wouldn't even harm a fly.